moon, we have our emotional selves, our innermost selves, our the side of us when we, we are when no one's looking, how we are when we're at home, how we nurture ourselves, how our relationships with our mothers, how we view our mothers. It represents the mother, the womb, creativity, psychic awareness, the subconscious mind, um, um, femininity, women children the womb um water uh corresponds with the fourth house in the sign cancer so we have um scorpio which repre is represented by pluto in the eighth house um indicative of transformation sex death um deep-seated stuff that we psychological stuff crises is represented by um, Scorpio um, just deep change um, sex um, <laughs> I said that already <laughs> um, what else again like this psychic awareness mentally probing energy um, the investigative nature that's all um, scorpionic plutonian plutonic energy so when we have our moon our emotional need going into the sign of intensity of crisis of sex of death transformation rebirth this is somebody that's intense like they are very much about the dark stuff that other people shy away from this stuff really gets them going um they could really be into theories and um like diving deep into mysteries and the occult and spending hours um researching stuff and they're very much so into uh taboo topics or things that people would kind of find dark and scary and or inappropriate or sexually um, explicit uh, in their private lives these people can be quite freaky <laughs> and um, very intense and emotional and um, very uh, pensive and they could have a lot of emotional turmoil as well um, because this is the opposite sign of Taurus so where a moon is an exaltation in Taurus the moon is struggling in Scorpio. So um, it's called its fall. So I love this moon sign and um, there's a lot of great things about them, but they could just emotionally feel like they're suffering or always emotionally feel tortured. Um, the mother could have been suffering near death experiences or been gone, or they could have suffered some kind of abandonment from the grandmother or the mother because Pluto represents the mother and the grandmother traditionally in astrology so you could see them having had early traumatic experiences when it comes to, and then the moon represents the mother as well and female roots as well so you can see them having a dark past or very deeply rooted intense relationships with their mothers or their grandmothers or having um a very monetary based relationship with the mother where the mother is very financially dependent on them early on they could have the month they could have felt abandoned by mom or like mom wasn't there or like they had to financially fend for themselves or they could have seen mom going after relationships where she was financially um, um, dependent on someone so uh, these people do have a large sexual appetite. Um, they have like quite colorful private lives and they do keep this t to themselves. They'll even keep certain parts of their emotional state to themselves when a mystery when it comes to a partner because the moon is your innermost self and Scorpio represents the hidden and the mysterious. The moon represents the mysterious, the dark, the hidden. So these people could have an emotional need to like, um, I'm sorry, Scar Scorpio represents um, mystery and the hidden. So these people could have an emotional need um, to hide things 
whether that be extramarital affairs or just keep their love and sex lives super private. And again, this could even be sometimes from people that they're really close to. Um, especially if they get wounded where they feel like they can't trust, they'll very much so go on a shell in a bubble and um, self-protective mode for them could mean shutting you out emotionally. <laughs> um, they really have a dark side and again, Pluto does represent crisis so uh, they could just be kind of emotionally addicted to pain and suffering or subconsciously attract these things to them if they're not careful and if they haven't worked on some of their their eighth house stuff and you want to see what Mars and Pluto is doing and if it's aspecting um, the moon because if it is this is um, making intensifying this this energy and making it even more intense for them and they're very psychic they know what you're thinking um, especially if you're their sexual partner it's like they can kind of read you in and out and they have the capability to like love very deeply and care for someone very intensely and it's a really beautiful thing and um, yeah they just really need to be able to trust and open up to somebody and once they do that they can be people who are trustworthy as a result because they can have a dark side where they're being manipulative and wanting to know your whole hand but then hide theirs and this is the more so the shadow side of Scorpio but the moon is a shadow energy so with our moon signs you can see a darker energy playing out for us so Scorpio can tend to take on a darker side in the moon um, but like I said again um, large sexual appetites very psychologically advanced very talented when it comes to getting a lot of information and research they won't get tired they have a lot of energy so this can make them very very smart and educated because they don't get tired of diving as deep as they can into a subject and learning as much as they can about it and um, yeah that's all I have for Moon and Scorpio stay tuned for Moon and Sagittarius up next um, be sure to like share and subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can be notified every single time that I post thanks for watching peace